Hello and welcome back to Team Fortress 2 with Bulbson playing a bit of Vanguard today because I've got a medic contract and there was a few changes made to the map so I figured what the hell, come on, come on, dude, come on, go, go, I, I don't know, uh, <laughs> it's calling for medic and I'm right here, uh, whoa, uh, what, where'd he go, he's gonna be around right about here, where the hell did he go? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> it is Thursday. It is the end of the week, and I am recording this live as uh, as I'm playing, which is uh, something I don't normally do. And the reason is because I do plan to unbox a few things today. Uh, I've got a few older crates I've been taking that have been taking up space in my inventory, and I figured, what the hell, I might as well open them up while I have the time and have the extra keys because oh crap. <laughs> like I said, uh, it is the end of the week, and this week, this past week, there's been a sale going on, Steam, the uh, Lunar New Year sale, or whatever it's called, and there is nothing in the, uh, or <laughs> nothing that drives down prices on the Steam community market like a sale on Steam, because people are always desperate to get rid of all their stuff, so they try and get as much money as they can to get those last minute sales make those buy those last minute games on Steam so they just dump stuff in the Steam community market trying to get a quick a bit of cash and it always happens every time whether it's the summer sales the winter sales or random big ass sales it just always happens like that come on come on man go go so I was able to pick up some nice stuff over the past few days since this is the last day or so of the sales I was able to get a couple good things, a bunch of ch very cheap keys, actually. Uh, so I figured, what the hell, I might as well do a quick unboxing because I got a ton of these stupid older crates, like from like the. Uh, oh crap! Come on, come on, no, no. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I've got a bunch of older crates. I've been taking up space in my inventory, like series 27. How many years ago did it? was it that this actually came out, the Series 27 crates? I don't know. Also got some 32s and 41s and stuff like that. So I figured I might as well open some of these up, get them out of my inventory. You never know. I might get something good. Or I might just get a Strange Sydney Sleeper. Oh, <laughs> okay, that sucks. Strange Sydney Sleeper, not something I wanted. Oh, well. So, uh, let's see. What do I want to talk about while I am waiting to die? Because that is the usual thing I do. What the hell? Guys, there's a freaking NG right here. Please kill him. Uh, but yeah, my usual uh, mode of operating is I open a crate every time I die. And this guy's going the wrong way. It's this way, dude. This way. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, um, every time I die, I'm going to open up one of those older crates because, yeah. I just want them out of my inventory. And I've gotten a fair amount of keys. I've bought a bunch of keys. Tons of them were on sale. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. What uh, uh, There was a few changes made to this map. I guess I should mention that. In the form of a new path to the end uh, control point, which this guy is not going by at all. Uh, it is down here. Under here. And I, I don't want to go that way all by myself. Ah, oh, here we go. Come on. Let's heal this guy. No! No! Come on. Crap, crap, crap. Help! Help! Help me, help me. Ooh. Uh, hello? Come on. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, why is nobody here? Come here, guys! Uh, I guess I'm just gonna heal this freaking sniper. <laughs> Come on! Somebody! Anybody! Let's go! Uh,. There's literally nobody here. Uh, but yeah, they made a few changes. Not massive changes, just a few uh, bug fixes here and there. Like opening up that extra access point to the end po end uh, control point. Okay, let us see if I can get this guy healed before he kills himself. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Kill him. Dude, reload and kill. Okay. But yeah, let's... Oh, crap. Uh, there we go. Oh, crap. Come on. What are you doing? No. 
I didn't even get a chance to deploy my Uber. Uh, that's what I hate about this. I am so busy playing, I don't have time to really talk or say anything of any real value. I just kind of react and don't say anything, and holy crap, another Sydney sleeper. That sucks. Oh well. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. So, like I was saying... <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying, uh, it always happens with the Steam sales. Stuff like that. You People just get desperate to get a quick cash, get that last sale on the last day, trying to get something good. So they dump stuff on the community market really, really cheap. Like I got all these keys for like two bucks each, which is a fair amount cheaper than they would normally be. Uh, also got a couple, few unusuals, quite a few unusuals. And speaking of which, it is I I mentioned it when it first came out. The whole uh, buy orders being allowed for stuff like unusuals and strange weapons and stuff like that. But I was worried that it was gonna be detrimental to the prices. Maybe it would cause them to crash. Maybe it would cause them to quickly rise up. I don't know. But all in all, I think it has been a positive thing. It has given people who would normally not have access to getting all those crazy cheap unusuals because of people using bots to automatically buy it, to actually have a chance to grab them up, as well as having people actually see what others are willing to pay. Oh crap, I am all alone here. Hello? Uh, <laughs> to help. Oh crap. Ow. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the whole buy order things for Unusuals has been very nice. All in all, I have to admit, it is a good thing. It is nice. Uh, where, where is everybody? Ah, here we go. Here's somebody. Here is somebody. Um, but there's nobody else. What the hell? Where is everybody? Where is my team? I don't know. Holy crap. Oh, crap. No. No. I can't even deploy my Uber because I'm using the freaking Crit Kritzkrieg, so I don't even have a good Uber to use. Okay, let's open up a 32. I don't even remember what was in these crates. It has been so long, and they completely removed the thing that allows you to see what it is. So I don't even know what is in these crates. It doesn't even list them anymore. So I have no idea. Ugh. Okay. But yeah, like I was saying, the whole buy order thing has been positive. It's, It has evened the playing field for people who... Uh, holy crap. Um, hello? It has evened the playing field to allow anyone to uh, actually be able to buy that stuff if they have the Steam Wallet funds. And it has had a stabilizing effect, kind of. In a, so in a way. Not really, but in kind of... Oh, here we go. Dude, come back. I was trying to heal you. Uh... Okay. Okay. Let us get this guy. Come on. Go. Go, man. Go, man, go. I just need to get some Chris Krieg uh, assists here. Come on. Go, man. Or should I help him? Who will be the best choice for this? Go. Get some kills. Go, man. Kill, kill, kill. Ha ah. ha. Oh, there we go. Go. Ha ha ha. Very nice indeed. Oh, racking up the points. So, uh, let's see. What do I want to talk about while we are doing this? And I am opening up crates. I don't really know. Uh, huh. I completely forgot what it was. Okay, this is a bit odd. What is this? Oh, strange Uber saw. Not too bad. Not what I was expecting, but not too bad. Uh, come on. Go. Go, man. Go, man. We are going. Ugh. So, what is it I want to talk about this week? Uh, let's see. I don't know. I, I, I had things I wanted to talk about. I thought about talking about. But then I completely forgot about it. Because I am in the middle of a game and I'm actually playing, and it's hard to keep track of my own thoughts while I'm trying to record, play the game, and talk at the same time. Which is one of the reasons I don't normally do it. Oh, grip. Come on. Don't die on me, man. Don't die. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. 
Kill him! Kill him quickly. Uh, well, let's see. What was it I was talking about last week? Uh, damn it. Last week I was talking about the whole Fine Brothers thing, and then I got into the whole uh, cl game clones and uh, stuff like that. I was talking about it. It's been off from that. Eh, strange diamond bag, not great. I'm kind of hoping for an unusual. I don't really know why. I don't really care. I'm just bored, and I wanted to open up some crates, and I want to get rid of those. But yeah, uh, I guess I could continue on with that train of thought. Because it is kind of weird. Well, it's not really weird. It's it's actually quite common, actually. The whole... Uh, come on. Oh, oh. Come on, and... No, and a... Boom! Ha-ha, <laughs> gotcha! Oh, crap. Uh, come on, heal! No, damn it. But yeah, it's kind of common to just have games and stuff like that that are just basically clones of pre-existing popular games. I mean, it happens a lot in the movie industry and gaming industry and movie industry and all television a lot. Uh, you see stuff that is just completely rehashed and redone. Here we go. One more while we're waiting. Come on, something good. Strange pistol. Crap. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wasting all these keys. Uh. But yeah, it, you, it's really just common that they'll take something that's really popular and copy it and clone it. Because it's an established thing. It's something people want. It's something people enjoy. And they don't really want to stray too far from what is accepted and liked. So, yeah. There, it is really difficult to come out with something original and new when you have to spend so much time and money developing it. And it's an untested idea. And I, holy crap, unusual vintage Tyrolene. Holy crap, a smoking Tyrolene. Not too bad. Holy crap, this is my second unusual I have ever gotten. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> this is the second unusual I have ever unboxed! Oh, holy crap! Boom! <laughs> Let me put that on! Let me put that on! Uh, it's his unusual, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Holy crap! Let's uh, take a look at this. Oh, man! Holy crap! Uh. Boom! Look at this! I am just blown away! I was not really expecting to get an unusual. I have never gotten an unusual. I have gotten one unusual. Holy crap. This is my second one ever. And it's... it's okay, it's not the best unusual. But, yeah... It's my second unusual I have ever gotten. And... <laughs> Holy crap! I can't believe I actually got an unusual. Um, I, I have no idea what it was I was talking about. I, I have no idea what it was I was talking about. I got my second unusual ever. Um, uh, I was talking about something. I, I don't even care now. I got an unusual hat. I got an unusual hat. Holy crap. Um, oh, crap. Uh, I am completely blown away by this. Die. Die. I am I am in a good mood. I am in a... And I'm... Uh, should I just keep going? I mean, I still have some more crates I can unlock. Um, yeah, let's open up another one while we're waiting. But yeah. What the hell was I talking about before this? Um, ooh. Strange part, projectiles reflected. Not too bad. Huh. <laughs> well, I was talking about, like, how difficult it is to get a new game or something going because of the sheer amount of money and time it takes to actually uh, get, it in, get it going, get it developed. Because whenever you're talking about something that's absolutely new, something that has not been done before, then... 
it's an untested property, an untested intellectual property, an untested game, or if it's a game style that's already been done, that's one thing. But when you're trying to come out with something entirely new, that's something entirely different. I mean, something like Minecraft. You would never see something like Minecraft coming out from one of the big developers. Primarily because it was such an untested idea. You could only see it from an indie developer like Mojang or something like that. Primarily because, yeah, it's such an untested idea that no one would really want to spend the time or the money trying to develop it. I mean, it's something you would not see from big developers. That's basic idea. Because they would uh, sink tons of money, tons of man hours into it. They would focus group the hell out of it. And then in the end, it would probably end up being homogenized and brought down to the lowest common denominator. And it would never have been what it became. But when you have an independent developer like Mojang that can just do what they want to do, as a guy like Notch who could just create a game like that from nothing, more or less, you can come up with something original and new. I mean, so take uh, Undertale, for example. That was developed in a relatively uh, indie format. It, it was It's an indie game. And... Come on, go, go, go. It's an indie game, and it strays so far away from the standard RPG that it's it's different, so different that you would never see it from a big big name developer is what i'm trying to say because the way the whole game works the way it functions the way you interact and fight and actually don't want to fight in that game is you it's just so different from the standard that it would be difficult to sell it to any executive and actually have it developed in any meaningful way. Because they, I can understand why that is. Because they want, it takes a lot of time, a lot of money to make games in this day and age. And especially the big name titles. Stuff like uh, Bethesda or like that. They spend a lot of time, a lot of money developing their games, creating their games, and that's a huge investment. Holy crap, this is what, probably the worst thing I could have unboxed. But I don't even care. I got an unusual. <laughs> but yeah, it, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars to develop a game. And, well, maybe not hundreds of millions, but tens of millions of dollars in development costs. And if they spend that kind of money, they want to have a, a return on it. They want to have... Holy crap. He's coming right for me, damn it. They want to have a return on that investment. So, if it's an untested idea, it's less likely to get made. Um, oh, sticky bomb launcher. Damn it. I'm going into the late crates. Damn it. Which means less and less good stuff. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um... <laughs> And that's true with most uh, forms of media. When it comes to movies, you will see stuff that gets rehashed and remade. That's why they keep remaking the same friggin' movies over and over again instead of making something new. That's why every year you will see stuff that is basically remakes of old movies, remakes of television shows or video games. They'll basically put out, se pump out sequels all over the damn place. But you rarely ever see something that is truly original, something that is truly a new intellectual property, a new idea. And that's because it's so difficult to get something like that out. Because if you spend the money on that and it's an unproven idea, then if it fails, you're out tons of money. Whereas something like superhero movies... Like the Deadpool movie that's coming out, or has come out. What day does it come out? Has it already come out? I don't know. Something like that, it's a proven intellectual property. It's something people wouldn't recognize. It's something people know. It's something they would go to see. So, they will go see that. People will go see that. But if you took something that was completely original, maybe not. In fact, it would probably not. Oh, crap. Um, crap. Oh, crap. I'm all alone here. I have no one to heal. Ah, got somebody heal. Haha, <laughs> and I got somebody dead. Ah, there we go. 
Well, I am only halfway done on this contract. But yeah. Oh. Uh, but yeah, that's one of the problems with Hollywood and gaming industry. Because all you see is the same games coming out over and over again. All you see is the same movies coming out over and over again. Because it's a safe bet. It's a safe uh, thing to do is just to make a remake of a movie that was already successful. And give it a bigger budget or something. Or to make a video, make a game about... A, a comic book or make movies about a comic book or a video game or just throw out a sequel every few years and yeah it's it's sad that that happens it's understandable that it happens that there's hardly ever anything really truly new or fresh coming out and, but it does make the rare instances where it does happen all the better because you have these instances where you have truly original stuff that comes out and it usually comes out from independent companies stuff like Undertale Undertale came out of nowhere it well it, I, don't, I don't really know if it came out of nowhere but it came out of relatively low budget uh, in a relatively low budget way and independent independently made indie company so yeah it's not that bad of an idea in fact, it's a very good idea. It's a very popular idea. It's become really huge on YouTube and like that. And yeah, it under something like Undertale is a lot of fun because it is so different from the standard RPG. Because it is so different. Because it doesn't follow the same common tropes you see in every single game like it where you're just running around killing stuff and you have to just kill everyone and it has all the common things and it, it is different enough while being the same uh, having enough similarities to make it marketable while at the same time being original enough to be f fairly new and good come on die stupid stupid scout why won't the scout die Die, Scout! Where is he? Ugh. Stupid freaking Scout. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh. I'm trying to get a heal on this guy. Ugh. I've got one more crate to open, and then I think I'm going to call it. Die. Ooh. Come on. Give me some heals. Get, well, I don't want any heals. I need uh, assists. I need some kill assists. I've got an Uber ready. So get me some assist kills, man. Go! 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 Yes! Yes! Assist Ubers! Ha ha ha! Crit kills! Assist! And I got the contract complete! Very nice! Of course I'm dying, so not very nice. But it does give me an opportunity to open one more crate and have one more opportunity to get one more unusual. Ugh. Okay. All in all, this has not been such a bad thing! Even with all these crappy stranges I've picked up, all of these crappy stranges, I mean, I did get two strange parts, which are fairly nice, but getting an unusual vintage Tyrolene in and of itself makes this entire thing worth it, because that was 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 keys I used to get a Tyrolene, which is roughly the value of it. Okay, well, yeah, the 15, 15, 16 keys for a vintage Tyrolene. That's not such a bad deal. I mean, that's I think that's around the going rate for one. That's how much you would have to pay to buy one. So, yeah. Not too bad. All in all, not such a bad investment in keys versus uh, payoff. Oh, crap. Let me see if I can get this spy. Ah, oh, you stole my kill, you bastard. You evil spy. You evil, friendly spy. You done stole my kill. He didn't even know I was behind him. Oh, oh crap. Die. Ah, oh, I got a kill. Yes. Uh, oh, now I just need to get uber kills. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, well. Uh, let's see. How long has this been going on? I don't know. I unboxed an unusual... I think that's about 20, 24 minutes or so. So I think it's about time for me to call it right here. Uh, so, anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. This has been a classic crate unboxing video and me just rambling on nonsensically as I try to get a contract that I actually got unusual. 
Holy crap, I got an unusual. It's a crappy smoking unusual, but it is still an unusual. Holy crap. Ugh. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. This has been Team Fortress 2. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.